One of the ways that we think about movement or stimulating the cerebellum is through this concept of thinking about linear movements versus non-linear movements. Like a figure eight is a really good example. And we use figure eights a lot because it helps us to be able to stimulate a part of the brain that we're really excited about when it comes to learning. That's the cerebellum. Basically, the cerebellum serves this really cool function of taking all of the movements that you do and fine tuning them. In the same thing you can think about with movement, with the way you're moving your arm or the way you're moving your leg, it does that with the way you move your eyes or the way you move your voice or the way you articulate. But even better, even helping you move your emotions and your thoughts. So it takes all of the noise in a signal and it helps condense it till we get a smooth, efficient output. We will use that a lot of times in cases where we're trying to stimulate the cerebellum to get it to be more active. And we know that if we do figure eights on the left side of the body, that stimulates activity in the cerebellum on the left side. And if we do them on the right side, it stimulates activity in the right side of the cerebellum.